Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a rerun here of Cree. I'm just going to do a review of what occurred with Cree in the last week. Cree was a stock swish show play of the day back here on the day that it actually gapped. This was on 423. The interesting thing is that I had said that the dream target on Cree was 47.85. I said there was a dream target on Cree, and it could have gotten there in one day. I watched it the other two days, but played other things, and it ended up working and continuing down, and it got within eight cents of the dream target. Forty-seven, seven cents, seven cents of the dream target it got down to, which is incredible. You know, when I do all my workups in the morning for my gaps, which is I first rate the gap, and then I determine if it rates 20 points or more to trade it, and then after that, I figure out the targets and the resistance levels for the stock and how it needs to set up for me to take the entry in the trade. When I do that, I figure out the targets, and then I have realistic targets, and then I have dream targets. And there's many days where I really uh, know that something has so much potential to go to a dream target, and Create was one of them. I actually was in Create almost until the close, and I'm rarely in a stock that long in a day. But it broke late, late in the day, so it did not get to the dream target on the day of the gap. But it could have. And if this had broke early on the day on the 23rd, it would have gotten there in the day. If you squish these three bars together, you see the extension here. High of 50 through 40, the day of the gap, and 47.83. Cree can run that much. You look at the bigger chart here. Cree can certainly, certainly have a bar like that in the day. Definitely, absolutely. So it could have done it on the day of the gap, which is one of the reasons I love to trade gaps, because they have just monster Megalodon bars some days. You only ever really get these huge, massive, massive bars on gap trades. Those are the trades that you get these big, big bars on. And, you know, I get them so consistently that I decided that I wanted to really figure out how to trade gaps and do trade gaps. There's other strategies out there, but to get the kind of momentum and volatility on a regular basis, it's tough. Uh, in gap, tra gap trades, you get a lot of volatility and a lot of momentum, and you seem to get them on a regular basis. Even this bar here is actually a pretty big bar. This is a really big bar, actually, for Cree here. It was a nice trade. So... I knew the Cree would go to the dream target because I understood what was happening in the overall trend with this. It didn't do it on the day of the gap. It took three days to do it, and it was a super duper trade. And, and, and when it didn't go to the actual dream target on the day of the gap, you can hold it overnight for a swing trade into itself if you have that in your trading plan to do swing trades and gore trades. You certainly could have done it. So really nice on Cree. I mean, you could have actually day traded Cree short. Look at this. This is a 15 minute. You could have done this, day traded it the day of the gap, next day, and then the third day down. I mean, this is just a beautiful, absolutely fantastic 15 minute chart. I and mean, look at that thing. Let's look at the 60. Yeah. On a bigger time frame, on a bigger picture, Cree is still lower, okay? But after three monster days down like this, it's hard to continue following through with something unless you're in this for a larger target for long term for a core trade. But Creed definitely has a bigger number inside of it. Let's just figure out where that is. I think it needs to rest a little bit in here now. It's had such, such volatility in the last three days. Well, here's the next area. It's right almost there. So I'd say after that, next area for Cree is right in here around 43-ish. 43, 42. The next area is here. 40, 43, 42. Or 42.50. So this definitely has more room in it. I mean, I wouldn't put it past this actually to run down another two days. This could have this could run down for five days. I mean, it, again, I like to do the day of the gap to get the move the day of the gap, but this could actually, now that I'm looking at this chart, this is not that far from the next area. I mean, I think it needs to rest a little bit here before it breaks again, but this could actually continue down for another day or two more days, right down there to 43, 42, 50. I mean, it actually could. It's $5 plus away, but I mean, it could do that in two days very easily. Look at what it just did here. 
So the important thing to remember is learn how to read overall trends and charts when you decide to take trades. And particularly if you're going to trade for longer term trends, if you're going to do a swing trade or an overnight trade or a core trade, whether it's for a one night or a year, you have to understand the longer term trend of something. I am ever shocked and amazed whenever I talk to people how they end up taking trades overnight in the opposite direction of the overall trend. I never do it. I would never do it. I would never advise anyone to do it. You can get hurt if you don't understand gaps. And you get a hurt if you don't understand overall trends and how to trade them as a trader. Lots of people trade all the time. They consider themselves scalpers and they're going against the trend constantly. But you can't really make a lot of money scalping. It's the only way to have really serious, positive, uh, amazing, fabulous money days is in order to take a trade with a sizable position and hold it to an area to, for a move, for a target, whether it's 75% of the target or the, or the whole thing if you can get it. You know, this idea of scalping something for 10 cents, 8 cents, 15 cents is, you know, in a stock like Cree doesn't make any sense at all. And this was a huge move in Cree and could have been played every single solitary day since the gap. It was an amazing gap. I knew it. I had 100% conviction. I even knew it would gap down and it did. And I knew I was doing it the day of the gap. Could have done it in one day. I've seen bars like this happen before. Again, I think it needs to rest here, but definitely the next target for the longer term is 43, 42, 50. Uh, the entry for the swing trade is gone, though. The entry was the day of the gap. Again, another reason to learn how to trade gaps if you want to do long-term trades or overnight. The entry to the position is the day of the gap. That is the best, best, best way to get in a overnight position. And for day trades, you just look at it every day and you trade it, following through with the trend here, which is in a downtrend for Crete. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in learning how to understand and read trends, I'm doing the trends class this week. It is April 30th and May 1st from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or to sign up. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.